Hi, Nick Park here from Evangelical Alliance Ireland and welcome to our weekly video. It's Friday, but Saturday is coming. Yes, you did hear correctly. I know it's normally we say it's Sundays, but Sunday's coming and Sunday is coming and I'm sure it'll be a great Sunday. And despite the restrictions that are in place, I know that churches are going to once again excel and exceed their abilities in sharing the word of God through online services. However, right now, I'm not even thinking about Sunday because tomorrow there's so much happening. Saturday is a busy, busy day this week, a day which used to be a day uh, for celebrating witchcraft. And we determined last year that we were going to redeem this day in the same way as the church uh, in the first century took the pagan uh, Saturnalia uh, festival at the end of December and turned it into an occasion to celebrate the birth of Jesus and the incarnation of Christ. Uh, in the same way, we want to reclaim the 31st of October for the Lord. And so last year we had a National Praise Day. There were praise events took place across the country and also a central all-day event in Dublin. Now this year, of course, things are different. We can't gather in those personal in-person gatherings. And of course, the celebration of darkness on this day is much reduced from last year. Uh, last year, the government was sponsoring massive uh, coming together of people internationally to celebrate themes of witchcraft and the occult. But that's not the case this year. But we are not allowing the restrictions to stop us praising God. And now we've got some things coming together on the same day. You know, the Bible does say uh, that how blessed it is when brothers and sisters uh, dwell together in unity. It's the anointing of God and God commands a blessing, uh, even life forevermore. Uh, well, this Saturday, tomorrow, we've got three things happening all at once, not in competition to one another, but supporting one another and working towards the same goal. Our National Praise Day is still uh, going forth, and I'd encourage you to go to their website, nationalpraiseday.ie, and you will see there about, there's a 24-hour Zoom meeting, a prayer meeting that's going to take place from midnight to midnight. So, you know, you can just log into that for an hour, log into it for 10 minutes. Uh, at the praise events last year, we had people came in on their lunch breaks from local businesses just to worship along for about 10 or 15 minutes and then go back to work. Well, you can pop in for 10 minutes if you want and join in that uh, great Zoom call that's on prayer. We've also got churches across the country as part of the National Day of Prayer setting up 24-hour virtual prayer rooms. So exciting to see that happening. Uh, as, as well as that, there's going to listen out on UCB radio. There's going to be all kinds of stuff going on there. The National Day of Prayer is supported by a number of organizations and ministries, uh, including uh, art bishops and archbishops from the mainstream denominations. So uh, I, I encourage you, whatever your church background, just get involved and pray. And there's no right way or wrong way to pray. The Apostle Paul said we should uh, we should pray with all kinds of prayers and petitions. And so I'm looking forward to so many different kinds of prayer being offered up to God uh, tomorrow. And also on the same day, uh, we have the uh, pro-life campaign are having the annual conference. And I'm delighted to be taking part in that, having a, in an interview with uh, Wendy Grace and uh, Bishop Kevin Doran. And that's already been filmed, but it will be going out as part of the pro-life campaign uh, annual conference, national conference. And that is online. And you can actually visit prolifecampaign.ie and register for free for that. You know, that is not in competition to the praise day or the day of prayer, but simply an added way in which we can add prayer for the unborn child, a vital prayer that's needed to become part of our prayer on this day. 
Now, the, uh, the, the National Praise Day team also have a concert at 5 p.m. It's got over 20 uh, worship teams, choirs, soloists, instrumentalists from across the country taking part. And the details for that are on their Facebook page, which is a National Praise Day Ireland, or on their website, nationalpraiseday.ie. E. And also uh, check out all the details on the National Day of Prayer website, which is uh, dayofprayer.ie. And then, of course, you've got the Pro-Life Campaign and their website, prolifecampaign.ie. Three organisations, three events partnering together to really lift up prayer and praise over our nation in, on this day that was reserved for darkness but now is becoming a day that will be more remembered for praise and for prayer. I really encourage you to get involved because it might be Friday, but Saturday is coming.